Hey guys. <laughs> I don't think I vlogged since like Sunday. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um, it's Wednesday now and I feel like I failed vlogging this week. I'm actually very disappointed with this week because I was actually hoping that, you know, Danielle and I would be able to do some more stuff on my break because if you guys don't know, I'll tell you first here. Um, you probably know from Snapchat. I could be wrong again. Um, I'm taking three classes. Three, three. This fall, um, one of them is the last class I need in order to get my associate's degree for early childhood education. Finally! So, um, I'm very nervous about that. I'm working on a couple other classes for my bachelor's degree. However, um, I don't know if I put this out in a video. I think I deleted the footage because I was like, this video is too long. This is boring. Whatever. I'm just going to briefly say it. Um, I'm thinking about transferring after I get my associate's degree to another school. Main reason is because I just, I don't feel welcome at my school anymore. I feel like since I have let my anxiety get in the way of my classes and stuff and my depression, I've had issues and um, all that kind of stuff that I just, I don't feel welcome there anymore. And it really sucks because I, you know... I love my therapist <laughs> and uh, I did love being there and I did love going to school when um, my advisor was there and now that she's not there anymore I just feel kind of empty and I feel like I just have these two hard ass fucking professors on my ass all the time which I understand you know they want you to succeed and they want you to do the shit their way and I get it I do I really get it you know it's college it ain't high school but at the same time, I'm just not a fan of like the way that they're doing things in my in my craft in my like future career. I've been actually thinking about this since the end of spring. I decided that I'm just gonna suffer out this semester and see about um, possibly transferring to another school, and also because my financial aid is gonna run out this fall. Yay. So, hence why part of the reason I am going to be getting a job because I'm going to have to pay my own self my ass through school because I used up all my financial aid because I suck. Hi. Real life problems here, okay? No, I feel like I've been in school for so fucking long that I'm like, oh my god, can I just like stop? Like, I just, I so badly a few times I just wanted to quit college, but I can't do that. I really can't because, you know, I got all this shit to pay back and if I pay it back and I don't go and it's like... You know, I don't have anything from it, then it's like a waste of money and it's a waste of time and everything. So, I do want my degrees. I really do. Things are just a lot different now that my um, advisor is gone and I feel a lot more pressure on myself to do well. And I actually didn't really do good in one of my ECE classes this past summer semester at the end because I fell apart as I always do. I'm really trying not to do that, but it's, it's just really hard. <laughs> For me, something I am considering, so I'm just <laughs> gonna see what happens with that. I'm actually gonna look around at other schools that offer my uh, craft. Maybe I will look more towards like a higher up university, like Southern, Eastern, um, not UConn, <laughs> not UConn. UConn is just is way out of my UConn University of Connecticut. Just nah, 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 nah. nah. I ain't that smart to get in there. <laughs> Let's face it. Um, my GPA is not that high. <laughs> I don't think I could go to a community college, but I don't know. I'm thinking about the end of my fall semester of transferring and looking at other schools because I just don't feel right there anymore. And I feel just like a negative presence and just like some days it's fine and some days it's like whatever. Um, my mind might change between now and then. I don't know. You know, because it's, it's, you know, a few months away until I finally have my associate's degree, which would be nice. At this point, I just want that degree and then I'm just going to transfer and leave because I feel like it's my time to go. I feel like I've been there for so long, you guys. Like, I've taken so many, I've taken a couple semesters off. I've spent two semesters in something that I didn't want to do and I was kind of forced to do by my family. With medical assisting and then I've wasted a lot of time and a lot of and it sucks but you know what everyone goes at everything their own pace I know um, somebody 
I don't remember who it was on my Facebook feed. They were like, oh, I'm just starting college, and it's I know it's kind of discouraging when everyone's just graduating college, but everyone goes at their own pace, and, you know, you do you. You do you, girl. Mm -hmm. I think it was a girl. Um, I can't remember who it was exactly, but, like, that spoke to me. So, like, I'm still going to do everything I want to do, and honestly, I would love to do YouTube just all the time and maybe down the line get a degree in communications or something. So, I don't know. I'm a little further advanced. I don't know. I actually was going to reach out to maybe 360 PR, which was a PR company, I'm guessing, because if you guys remember a couple years ago, they sent me the hot, what the heck were they called? Hot jewels, the metallic tattoos that I wore on my, that I reviewed on my birthday, and I did a video for you guys, and I was so excited, because, like, I was actually sent something to review, and I was, or to try out, I was like, oh my god, this is so cool, because... I obviously my hot buns video is like my most viewed video ever and like everyone sees that and yeah but um and I did the hot um the nail design hot designs I did the hair one hot hues and then I did the hot jewels I don't think they're gonna come out with anything else though but um I'm actually thinking about reaching out to them being like hey could you guys like I don't know could you just like help me out like can I review something or I don't know I don't know how to be like professional with that kind of shit like I just want to be like hi and they did invite me to like a, an event a couple of years ago for a zest when they came out with their zest boost um body wash stuff in New York but number one I could not go <laughs> there's no way in hell and number two I hate New York I don't ever want to have to go there but I actually just entered Tati's giveaway to win tickets to Generation Beauty and I don't think I'm gonna win. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna win. But if I did, that would be so cool. And I would probably take Danielle with me because I'd just be so freaked out. And she's been to New York and she knows and all that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, so today's Wednesday. Today is Ween's first day of sophomore year of high school. Holy crap, she's a sophomore. I remember when I was a sophomore. That was the best, my favorite year in high school. So I'm just like, all the feels, all the feels. And uh, today's also my stepdad's birthday. That's in heaven, and um, it's been officially eight years that I've um, known a friend very close to me that I'm very grateful that I still have them in my life, even though it's been rocky. I'm just very um, happy that they are in my life and that we talk and that we're okay now, because for years it's been very, very crazy, so... Taco Talk videos. I had noticed I haven't done one in a very long time. I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one right now, to be honest, because I just, I don't feel up to it. I just don't want to, like, I just, I kind of don't want to do it until I feel, like, semi-decently okay, because, um, I don't want to, like, talk about the things that have been going on with me, how I've been dealing with it and stuff, if I'm just not 100%, so I hope you guys can kind of understand that. It's not to be a bitch. Again, it's not to be mean. It's because, like, I just don't feel mentally, emotionally comfortable talking about um, things that have just been going on with school and with not passing and a lot. <laughs> a couple months I'll do another one, but right now I just don't want to. I've got a lot on my plate that's going to be coming, and I am going to be applying for jobs. Still, um, I've kind of put that off as far as I can because I am very scared, and I am very nervous, and I really don't want to do it. I really don't, and I'm so scared to have like that I may have a panic attack over it like I'm afraid I actually had a really bad panic attack last week I think I talked about that in the vlog though the last week's vlog wasn't good so positive my mom and I are gonna go to the dollar store to get some balloons for my stepdad's grave and wish him a happy birthday and <sighs> yeah we're just gonna do that and maybe I'll convince her to stop it Duncan because I want some pumpkin coffee you guys and I really want to go to Walmart and get Britney's CD so Cross fingers that Claro lets me and I really want to go to Chick-fil-a But the closest ones in Wallingford and that's literally like 30 minutes away from me and I'm just like oh So me and Claro have to take a road trip one day you guys Like one day, okay, I'm done now, but I will talk to you guys later Positive vibes. Okay, so I figured I would oh why does this always feel blurry? I don't know um, I figured I would document this right now. I am actually kind of sick right now. <laughs> I've been sick since last night. I, I actually uh, submitted my a job application. <laughs> Hi, job application for um, a toddler teacher position at 
um, a place. It's not it's not that far. It's like 10 minutes away from me, but it's pretty close. And I did that last night. And then this morning, I just got a phone call probably about like 15 minutes ago. And I just called them back. Casual interview, which is so fucking awesome. I am so excited right now because you guys know, like, for me, the process of getting a job is just the most stressful. And then once I have a job, it's like, yes, like, I'm happy. Like, and to be working with babies again, because I don't know if you guys, you guys have probably seen this, the wall, but this, this stuff right here, the, these three are from when I was student teaching, and this card is from my student teachers, and, like, I'm just so happy, and then this stuff is from when I worked at Bright Horizons, and this is from when I was student teaching with all the pictures of the kids in there, and just, like, I don't know, like, looking at this, looking at it, I don't, it makes me really happy, and I know I've been questioning a lot lately if I really this is really what I want to do but I feel like that's just all in my head and I'm just really excited I just hope that I get this job and I hope that I just hope that things go good for me again because for so long I've been like a little messed up <laughs> not messed up but I've been like freaked out and um I haven't worked in a year and I keep look I keep getting notifications on my phone but um this is just like more motivation to for me like that I can do this and I can do it and I can work and go to school and do everything it's gonna be a really hard semester so if, um, I'm gonna try and figure out a way that I can pump out videos for you guys and um, you know not I don't want to take away any time from YouTube I really don't and I just I feel really good right now I feel really happy so I don't know, I'm just really happy right now. I just can't believe how quick this is happening. Like, when I applied to Bright Horizons, I think it took a couple days and then I got a phone call um, <laughs> from uh, them being like, hey, come in for an interview. <laughs> and, or No, actually, it was a phone interview first, and then it was, um, it was a phone interview with the coordinator of the um, all the different locations in my state, and then it was an interview on site with the director and... I went in and spent time with the children and stuff like that, and I don't know. I kind of feel like my Auntie Helen's, like, looking out for me here because, like, she was a nurse for so many years and worked with children and stuff, and, like, I've been, like, I don't know, ever since her passing, I've just felt a little bit inspired being like, hey, I shouldn't be sitting around anymore. Like, I need to do life. I need to do me, and I need to, you know, take it all in and... I don't know, this just, I've really been thinking about her a lot lately, so I'm just really, like, happy. I feel like, you know, she kind of just, I don't know, I feel like she was with me with this, and I'm just really happy. I'm sorry, I'm crying. I'm just really happy. I really want things to fall back into place again. Like, I, I felt really good when I was working, and I was very happy, and now everything is just gonna, I hope, go good, and I'm really scared. I'm scared though because like in the interview process I'm very nervous and like I end up not saying things I want to say so I'm gonna have to just breathe um I might pick out my interview outfit and oh god I'm so excited right now <laughs> I hope they hire me I really do I've actually never been to this place before either but that since they do have a child care center like and they're looking for like someone a toddler teacher I really want to take part in that. <laughs> like, I want that's what, that's what I want to do. And I just really hope, though, um, if I do get this job, that my coworkers are very nice and they're not. Um, because I had awesome coworkers. I really did at my last job. And um, so if any of them are watching this, like, you guys, like, they were awesome coworkers. I mean, I bumped heads with a couple of them and I was just like, all right, like, mm. um, like, the girl that barely ever fucking did anything and that I had and she were, was working full time. I will say this for the record. Any story time. There was a girl um, where I worked. She's younger than me. She was, you know, just getting in the field. I guess she was going to school for it too. And um, she was a full time teacher, full time toddler teacher. I was just a part time floater teacher. I was just in all the classrooms, like infant, toddler, preschool, and kindergarten prep. Honestly though, I picked infants and 
toddlers over the older kids over time, but you know, um, and I got placed more in there anyway, so I was just like, yeah, um, mostly toddlers though. But anyway, it's kind of how my passion started. Like being, I just, I realized working there, I really prefer working with toddlers more because I really love babies and I want to have my own babies and all that kind of jit jit what teacher you have to do um it was called teaching strategies it's with the ctl's now it's totally different so if you're from connecticut you know and you work in a center you know but um i guess she would not do any of like the paperwork on the kids because you have to track like their um their development and their progress on this um using these tools and I guess that she wasn't really doing it. And I worked with her a lot. She wasn't terrible to work with, so for the record, like, she wasn't terrible. But she definitely didn't really pick up the slack on my end. Like, I, at some points, at some times, like, I was doing all the changing. I was giving them their snack. I was cleaning up the cots. I was cleaning up the room. I was putting their sunscreen on them. I was, you know, getting them ready to go outside. And she would just kind of stand there. And, or sit there in the middle of the room of the mess with the kids running around and the kids playing instead of like being like let's put it away guys let's put it away she just would sit there so um that turned me off but then again I can kind of understand if she's never worked in a center before and all that kind of stuff like I learned quick like you can't sit you can't just let these kids you know destroy the room you can't let them um you know hurt each other or anything like that so and I think it has to do with a lot with the demeanor and I think the kids could tell that you know like I'm not saying that she didn't love what she was doing and that she you know that you know, she's not a good teacher. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, um, I think that maybe she was a little unsure of what she was getting herself into and she was a full timer. So, you know, naturally like being a floater, like I kind of follow the full timers lead or I follow the other teachers lead. And over time I've learned like their routines and stuff. And I, you know, pick up on that and I would do them on a daily basis. I'm not saying she was a horrible teacher. I think that she was just starting out. I know that she works somewhere close to me, actually, where um, one of my classmates actually works in the same place that she works. I've always wanted to ask her about her, but I'm just kind of like, I don't want to, like, you know, step on toes or anything like that. But uh, I will say, though, I have blocked her on Instagram and Snapchat because I don't want that crap. <laughs> like, because I, I just don't want her following me and, mm, like, I don't know. Pretty much all my coworkers were really nice. I feel like a couple of them were, you know, didn't really like me, which is understandable. I mean, who's going to like me? No one, not everyone's going to like you. You could be the juiciest peach. And there's going to be someone that doesn't like peaches, so it's whatever. I hope that this goes well. I don't know, on the phone, like, the woman seemed kind of nice, but she seemed kind of like, I'm all business. Like, oh, okay. All right, girl. All right. Like, we'll see how this goes. I... I hope that um, there's a good vibe there. So I'm gonna stay positive. And I kinda wanna go work out, but I've been having tummy troubles all night and all day today so far. So I'm not sure about that yet. But yeah, I will um, give you guys an update on the job interview next week's vlog and see how it goes. And I'm so excited right now. Like, I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my God. Where out? Where With Clara. Hello. Mommy. I do have a quick pace because I do this almost every day. No, I know. I got a Sephora. Just realizing you spent like $100 on makeup and you thought it wasn't even going to cost that much. Me too. Hi guys. So, you'll never believe where I am right now. The mall again. So, um, my mom bought like a hair thing from one of those kiosks people and she was going to return it but then she saw on the receipt that you can't return it but I don't know I guess she she wanted to exchange a product or something so we're waiting do that and there's like people that constantly walk by and I just feel a little weird anyway this is my makeup today this lip is in my newest video I put up on Friday how fleek is your love I'm obsessed with this red and I'm like channeling fall okay okay and um I bought a lot of shit. My bags. And I'm currently waiting for my mom to pay because I paid, like, because I had my card on me. I just paid, you know. And the girl's like, you have a card or cash? And I'm like, oh, a card. So I paid at the thing. But I'm just waiting. I'm going to buy, I'm going to get some Dunkin' after this because I'm so hungry and I haven't eaten anything yet today. 
and people will probably think I'm crazy because I'm vlogging, but you know, hey, I'm trying to get comfortable. And um, pink, Sephora. I was just in there all by myself, and I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass for it now because I really wanted to try the Clinique foundation, but I and the Urban Decay, but I just got the Urban Decay one. So, but I kind of wanted the Clinique one more. So I suck. Moonchild palette, but Sephora doesn't sell the Moonchild palette. It's only on Anastasia's site, so uh, I'm gonna go to Dunkin'. I would get Starbucks, I kinda want Starbucks, but I think we're gonna stick with Dunkin' because I'm hungry. I just spent $100 on makeup. I just spent $100 on makeup. <laughs> Like, I know they're extinct now, but like, looking for Britney Spears' CD. Damn it! Britney's CD. It's right here. And it's not here. Cool. Cool. So fucking pissed off. I'm so fucking pissed. I'm so fucking pissed. Britney's CD is not here. I'm so fucking pissed. As you guys know, Britney just came out with her CD. I've been listening to it on Spotify. I really want her actual CD because I collect every single one of them. So if she ever watches this vlog, hey, Brit. Um,. Baby One More Time was the first CD I ever got when I was like six years old and I've been buying her hard CD, like CDs ever since. Like I have to buy every single one when it comes out and I can't find it because it's sold out here. I'm not even going to try and act like I'm butthurt about it because I am butthurt. So I'll, I'll try and find it this weekend. This reminds me of when I saw my ex-best friend here a few weeks ago and I was like... Ew, this bitch. <laughs> but I don't even think she noticed me, which was the best part, because I didn't want to see her. I always think it's our house. Always. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, Look know. who's here. Hello. <laughs> Cheating on my diet. I'm having a soda. I haven't had soda in over a year or so. Well, you know what? I'm having pumpkin coffee. How are you guys doing? You just saw me in the last clip look for Britney CD and it was completely sold out at Target. And it was on sale too. For $13.99. I was like, really? When did it come out? We can go. <laughs> we just came from the mall and we stopped at Target, my favorite place. We went to Target because I was on a mission to find Britney's CD, as I just said. And it was sold out. So have to try have to try and find it this weekend. What in there? I thought they didn't have CDs or DVDs anymore. I was like, oh my god, where are they? Really? Yeah, like I looked because first you see like the cameras and then you see the um, like the phones and then you see like the video game stuff and I was like Oh crap, <laughs> like oh uh, shit. So oh, David and I used to park right here in that little corner Yeah. That corner <laughs> Making out <laughs> High school days Oh special. special. Yeah, my mom is one more errand to run and then I'm gonna be going home and uh Going to Papat. I'm so excited. I just want to be with him. <laughs> this is my last weekend of my break. I go back to school next week. I have a job interview on Tuesday, like I've already probably talked about a million freaking times, and everyone's like, shut the hell up already about it. Excited, and I just hope I get this job because that'd be really nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I hope so too, honey. I'm rooting for you. I think God has a plan for everyone, and this is yours. Especially now that you guys probably already know about the whole like YouTube thing. I already told Claro the other day or this morning that um, they're cracking down and demonetizing like YouTube big YouTubers videos if they even like say the word fuck in the title. That's horrifying. I just said it. But my my vlog channel videos, fun fact, are not monetized at all because for some reason it won't connect to my AdSense account. Like this account won't connect to it. So I personally don't really care. Um, like it's not a big deal like I don't care to I do this for fun so either way I don't care if I make money on it or not it's nice to make money not gonna lie but it's not the end of the world but with that whole bullshit going on it like kind of really made me question like my whole thing of like I want to do YouTube for the rest of my life like I want to make videos and meet come meet you guys and stuff like that which I do still want to come meet you guys and actually well, that'd be fun, wouldn't it? me and Roya um, next year may actually if I have enough money saved and if I get the balls may go to um, Beautycon 
Playlist Live, all that fun stuff, but maybe not Playlist Live because that's in Florida and a lot of fucking, fucking fucked up shit's been going on in Florida lately and, um, yeah, I'm just not about that. Hurricanes, it's hot, shootings at nightclubs, which that was not funny and that just horrifies me. Oh, and you could just, being as old as you are, you could still be kidnapped and taken. Hollywood Story and E, if you guys remember those, they used to have, um, True Hollywood Story Investigates and it was like, um, they had it on the other night too and I was like, oh my god, I used to love watching this. About um, a being kidnapped and abduct abducted, like grown women being abducted yeah. by people and stuff. And it was Taken really- Taken for sex slavery and everything else. And they never see you again, you're gone. Really horrifying. <clears throat> you're not dead, you're in another country. And they did uh, some on, um, there were a few like adults that were children that were like molested and then kidnapped and stuff. And it was really sad. It's horrible. So, yeah, maybe not Florida, but um, I definitely want to meet you guys, and I want to go to like beauty con and stuff. Aww. But it's expensive What's as beauty fuck. Con? What is that? At? Where is that? Beauty con LA just happened this past weekend. There's a beauty con Texas. Leave below. Where else beauty con is? I have no idea. <laughs> um, there's a playlist live in DC I believe that one I don't think I would mind going to and there's a beauty con New York no generation beauty generation beauty is one of them I'm so stupid <laughs> I actually like I, th I think I said earlier in the vlog but I entered Tati's giveaway to win two tickets to go to generation beauty New York I hate New York so much me and actually one of my guy friends were just conversing about that a few weeks ago that we both hate New York <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna be interesting if I did win if not then you know oh well I just I just don't have the money or the resources to go but yet I have a hundred dollars to spend on makeup hi I suck oh you just have to pay for yourself or make yourself feel good yeah spend a little money on something that makes you feel good then go for it you want to come around wise like words of Clara oh well, you only live once right yes I mean you're not it's like you're going free spending all your money on just one little yeah. spree. I'll do a mini haul once uh, Claro it's runs in to do her errand. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's going to the doctors. And she's fine. It's just a little, you know, you know, doctors. Yeah, they just want your money. Nah. Show up. Take your money. Nah. A guy literally has blood all over him from getting hit in the head with a bottle, and the only thing David's concerned with is the puppy in the background. 